If you love coffee in its purest form, one of the best espresso machines is what you need. A good espresso machine will produce a perfectly balanced shot of espresso, full of flavor, aroma, and body. It shouldn't taste burnt or bitter, and a thick layer of crema should form on top for a smooth finish. In addition, the machine itself needs to be quick to brew and quiet in operation with an intuitive control panel. But how can you tell you're getting all of the above? That's where we can help. We've tested a range of espresso machines to find those that deliver across the board. We've listed the top six espresso machines and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, validconsumer.com. Number 6. DeLonghi Stilosa Espresso Machine If you're looking for a budget option that gets the job done right, the DeLonghi Emanuel Espresso Machine is the one for you. It costs a little over a hundred bucks, yet it has a built-in frother, filters for single and double shots, and a tamper. All you need to get is a coffee grinder, unless you plan on buying your beans pre-ground, and a frothing pitcher to use with the wand. If you're worried about the low cost, know that even professionals think inexpensive machines are good options. Don't automatically think the more expensive, the better. This machine allows you to make any drink that expensive models do and is likely easier to get the hang of. The only tricky part is that when you're making an espresso shot, you need to manually shut off the machine, or it'll just keep running. Number 5. Breville Barista Express Impress after thorough testing and evaluation, the Breville Barista Express Impress emerged as my top choice, hands down. Its impressive performance and user-friendly features make it a standout option for any espresso enthusiast or frequent coffee-at-home consumer. Setting up the machine was a breeze, taking only 15 minutes from start to finish. Filling the water tank, soaking the filter, attaching the hopper, and adding the beans were also straightforward and easy tasks, thanks to the well-written instruction manual and user-friendly quick setup sheet. An intuitive control panel illuminates one cup and two cup buttons for easy selection. Heating the boiler takes only about a minute, and the power button blinks while the machine heats up, serving as a convenient indicator of its progress. The features that set this machine apart from the rest were its intelligent dosing system and assisted tamping mechanism. The grinder automatically calculates an accurate dose based on the last grind, with a light-up indicator that tells you whether you need a bit more or a bit less. What's more, I used a scale to measure the coffee grounds in between shots and was shocked at how accurately the system was able to adjust and replicate great results. Cleanup was practically non-existent too, thanks to the built-in dosing funnel, which neatly delivers the coffee grinds to the portafilter and helps to minimize mess. Finally, the quality of the espresso produced by this machine was simply exceptional, especially for a semi-automatic home machine. The creme on each cup was thick and foamy, indicating a proper emulsion in the extraction process. The steam wand wasn't the most powerful one I tested, and it did require a few seconds to purge hot water before it was hot enough to blast pure steam. Still, it delivered enough intensity to heat the milk quickly and produce microfoam, resulting in a satisfyingly frothy cappuccino. Number 4. Gaja Classic Evo Pro This Italian-made, semi-automatic machine is a solid choice for people keen on learning the ropes. It has simple controls but no automatic shutoff, so you'll need to time your shots. It comes with an attractive, brushed stainless steel construction and commercial-style components, like a standard 58mm portafilter, the spoon-shaped piece that holds the coffee grinds during the brewing process, and a steam watt which is a draw to those interested in creating latte art. The top-loading integrated funnel makes filling the machine up with water very easy. The manufacturer, Gaja, says it designed the classic Evo Pro with improvements from its entry-level model, like the mounting of the vibration pump, which makes the machine less noisy while brewing, and an updated overpressure valve, OPV, which is used to regulate the brewing pressure and prevent overextraction. The burnt, dry taste that's the result of a poorly brewed espresso. Additionally, it features a boiler that's more resistant to scale buildup and corrosion than that entry-level model. Number 3. DeLonghi La Specialista Prestigio This fancy-looking semi-automatic espresso machine comes in at under $1,000 and includes a built-in grinder and steam wand for frothing milk. 
We found it easy to use and adjust based on your preferences. Choose from 8 grind sizes to perfect your ideal shot of espresso. Then select single espresso, double espresso, or americano. Keep in mind there may be an initial learning curve to determine which grind is right for your ideal shot. It also dispenses hot water for tea. The La Specialista Prestigio has a built-in tamping mechanism, which helps pack your grounds perfectly. A pressure gauge helps ensure you selected the right grind and you're pulling the perfect shot. We loved the espresso it produced. It was full-bodied with thin, silky crema. A knock box for used grounds can be bought separately, which we found very useful when making espresso after espresso. Overall, we also found this espresso machine to be easy to clean. Number 2. Philips 3200 Latte Go All super-automatic machines, which grind, dose, pull your shot, and froth milk at the touch of a single button, are a compromise compared to their automatic cousins. Only the most expensive ones produce comparable shots or froth milk equally well. But for people who want freshly ground coffee in their espresso shots and latte drinks and appreciate the instant gratification of a pod system such as a Keurig or an espresso, a super automatic is a solid choice. The Philips 3200 Latte Go had the best mix of features and performance at its price point. It's more compact than the basic Gaja and Jura Super Automatics, and it pulls a reasonably decent shot of espresso with good crema and good shot temperature and flavor. The ample water reservoir is easy to remove, and we liked the simple lighted push-button controls that allow for an easy guided and personalized drink creation experience. The bean hopper is easy to load, although its capacity is not as high as others we looked at. The pre-programmed drink types – espresso, coffee, americano, macchiato, and cappuccino – have easily adjustable settings – strength, water volume, and milk volume – that let you customize each drink type before execution. The Latte Go, a hot pluggable milk frother slash heater and jug attachment, produced better hot milk consistency than other super-automatic machines we tested. However, it's made of plastic, just like the entire machine. It's also easy to overfill and will start leaking unless it's snapped correctly into its holder and attached correctly by the machine, while the spout needs constant cleaning. By comparison, the Jura D6 design, with the container piped into the machine on the side, is less prone to failure or mess, though the results weren't as good to our taste. As with all super automatics, the coffee grind disposal hopper and drip tray must be cleaned regularly, but it's easy to pull out, empty, wash under the sink, and slide again into action. The machine also turns itself off automatically after a preset period and can be quickly woken up again. Number 1. Breville Bambino Plus the newest entry to Breville's diminutive Bambino line has made huge improvements over both the not-tricked-out regular Bambino and Breville's more expensive and hulking infuser. For one thing, it heats up almost instantly. It goes from off to ready to brew in less than 5 seconds. It only comes with pressurized filter baskets, also known as double-walled filter baskets, which almost guarantee the proper pressure and good crema from a single or double shot, even if you don't tamp it perfectly grind your coffee beans too coarsely, or don't have precisely the right amount of grounds. Pressurized baskets also work with pre-ground coffee. We don't recommend using it, but if it's your thing, you can with this machine. We should note that even though only pressurized baskets come with this machine, we tried a non-pressurized, single-walled filter basket from the Breville infuser which fit the Bambino, and the results were still quite good. The great triumph of this machine, though, is its automatic milk steaming. You can set how foamy you want your milk, place the milk jug under the steam wand, push a button and just let it go. You don't need to angle the jug or even hold it, it's totally hands-free. And while a feature like this could be gimmicky, the texture of the milk was rich and smooth. We even tried the function with oat milk to see how it would handle something non-dairy, and it gave more volume and texture than we got on any other home machine. This is the most dummy-proof semi-automatic espresso machine we've tested. There are some ways to manually adjust the Bambino Plus. You can set different brewing times and different water temperatures. You can switch from automatic milk steaming to manual, but you don't need to touch any of them if you don't want to. It's got functionality that's as simple to use as some of the truly entry-level beginner machines, which we don't recommend at all, but produces coffee drinks that are closer to a machine like the Solus. All right, coffee lovers, there you have it. A comprehensive look at the top espresso machines available on the market today. 
Whether you're a beginner or an aficionado, there's a machine out there tailored to your taste and requirements. Remember, the best cup of coffee isn't just about the beans, but also the machine that brews it. So invest wisely and elevate your coffee experience to the next level. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow coffee enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful reviews and recommendations. Until next time, keep sipping and savoring the magic of espresso. Cheers!